Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we do some practice examples on combinations. Combinations examples on bit strings. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the combinations formula. Please watch that class and come back here. This is a continuation class. Our assumption here also, our explanation is completely based on the assumption that you already have that basic knowledge from previous classes. Otherwise, you are not able to understand these classes. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So, how many bit strings of length 8 contains? The first question is exactly 5 ones. Bit strings means you can have either 1 or 0. So, you are having, they are trying to ask you questions like 8 bit strings that contain exactly 5 ones. So, 8 positions, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 positions, in this 8 positions, you have to select at any 5 positions. So, that's why this comes under selection problem. Suppose, suppose uh, we have selected first 4 positions and the last position. This is one type of selection. First 2 positions, in between 2 positions and the last position. This is one type of selection. Why this problem does not come under the arrangement problems? Because, see, if you selected this first four positions and the last position and we place it once there. You remove this one and place it here. You remove this one, place it here. Means we have made some arrangement. But still it is the same string. Arranging this once will not change. So that's why if you select the positions in that positions you are going to place once there is no possible for possibility for arranging the things you even if you are if you do arrangement nothing changes for better understanding we are giving these inputs so once you understand this solving this example is very very easy means the point you need to understand First position, second position, third position, fourth position, fifth position, sixth, seven, eight positions are there. From these eight positions, you need to select any five positions. So, selection, what's the formula for selection? Here, n is equal to eight positions. From that, you have to select five positions, r is equal to five. So, selections is equal to ncr is the formula for selections. ncr means n factorial by n minus r factorial multiplied by r factorial. n means 8 factorial by 8 minus 5 factorial, 5 factorial which is 56. You do the ma mathematics here, 56 values or 56 different selections you are going to do. In those selections we are placing ones, exactly, exactly 5 ones. Now coming to the second example, the same 8 bit strings. Equal number of zeros and ones in eight bit strings. Equal number of zeros and ones means uh, in this eight positions four ones four zeros. Means in this eight positions you have to select any four positions. In those four positions you have to place ones. Remaining four positions you are pl placing zeros. So selecting four positions from eight positions. So n is equal to eight. R is equal to four. 8c4 is the answer. 8 factorial by 8 minus 4 factorial and 4 factorial. You are going to get 70 different possibilities are there. Selections are there. Now coming to the next one. At least 4 ones. At least 4 ones means you can place 4 ones. You can place 5 ones. You can place 6 ones. You can place 7 ones. You can place 8 ones. All these are all the possibilities you are having with the at least 4 ones. So, the first one is select 4 positions, select 5 positions, select 6 positions, 7 positions, 8 positions. So, in order to select 4 positions, 8C4 plus in order to select 5 positions, 8C5, 8C6, 8C7, 8C8. So, why we are doing addition here? This is the point you need to understand. In our permutations examples also, we clearly discussed that when we have to do addition. This is one possibility and this is second possibility. 
obtaining these possibilities will not happen at a time. This is different, this is different. Selecting five positions is not same as selecting four positions. These are different, different possibilities. These two possibilities cannot happen at the same time. This point we discussed. That's why again we are not discussing. You think about it. Uh, selecting these two is cannot be obtained at the same time. Means either you can select four positions or you can select five positions. That's why we are going with plus. This is separate uh, possibilities. These are separate possibilities. Separate possibilities. We need all of these possibilities. That's why adding. Okay, so total if you if you do this uh, mathematics, you are going to get 163 different uh, ways you are going to select either 4 positions, 5 positions, 6 positions, 7 positions, 8 positions. So the next one is at least 3 ones and at least 3 zeros. At least 3 ones and at least 3 zeros means we are showing one example. 1, 1, 1. We are having at least 3 ones. Three zeros. We are left with two positions. In these two positions, you can place one or zero. You can do anything because uh, our question is at least three ones and at least three zeros. You should have three ones, three zeros. This is compulsory. Remaining two positions, you can go with one or zero. So, how many different possible selections you can do? Three ones, five zeros. In this, we are having three zeros, three ones, at least. This is one possibility. Four ones, four zeros. This is another possibility. Five ones, three zeros. This is another possibility. All these comes under a, at least three ones, at least three zeros possibilities. So, at least three ones means at least three ones, five zeros. So, from the eight positions, from the eight positions, you select three positions and place ones. Remaining positions, zeros. Plus, the second option. From the three, from the eight positions, you have to select four. Eight C four ways. Plus, from the eight positions, we have to select five. Eight C five ways. Why we are doing addition? Because this, this two possible this cannot happen at the same time. Selecting three positions is different from selecting four positions. There are different possibilities which cannot happen at the same time. That's why plus. Either you can choose four positions or you can choose three positions. That is what the meaning are. That's why go with plus. So 182 ways total. You do the math here. 182 possibilities are there. Different selections you are going to get. Hope you understand the combinations examples better. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.